Okay. So listen, um, it's been a hot minute since I've been in, in the YouTube. Oh my God, look. First of all, I wanna give a little warning that we're gonna be talking about some and, and displaying some graphic images. So if you're squeamish about things, let this be a warning for you. We're gonna be popping up some things. Um, yeah, okay, I don't know when I talked about this on YouTube, but if you've been following me on Instagram, you are very much in the loop, but I felt like I needed to make this video because it would be very odd to just follow up with our pre-filmed videos without talking about what happened this last week if you're very confused. Right now, I feel you, I understand. All will be made clear shortly, my friends. So basically, we back in April planned a fun trip with our fam. Our friends from back home, a few friends from Toronto, we planned to have a fun Airbnb villa week in Tulum and it was gonna be a blast. And we've been planning it for a long time. We were really looking forward to it. We've been having a couple rough months personally and we were just really looking forward to this break. And then um, I had a tragedy befall me. <laughs> so in preparation for Tulum, we pre-filmed a bunch of videos. I think I pre-filmed six, five or six videos because we're actually, we had a week in Tulum, we're home right now for two days, and then we actually go to Hawaii with Benefit tomorrow morning at 4 a.m. Um, so we're gone for a significant amount of time. We wanted to have everything like really ready to go. Um, and so we pre filmed a bunch of videos, which you haven't seen any yet. I know, and I do apologize, but we get to Tulum with our friends. We're so excited, you know, bikinis are coming on, the clothes are coming off, woo! And I decided to take it upon myself to be the margarita maker. And we bought like this giant bag of limes. We were like in Mexico, we're like cool, we're making margaritas, okay? So we buy a bunch of tequila, we get the proper coin trill, whatever, and buy like 40 limes because there was 15 of us. There was 15 of us at our Airbnb villa. It was stunning. It, we were just so excited. So the first day we get there, we all just have dinner and go to bed. We were pretty pooped from the travel day. And then our day one, Friday, uh, we just started right off the hop. We There was a Vitamix at our villa and I was like blending up the margarita mixtures. We realized we didn't have a lime squeezer. So I was just cutting the limes and squeezing them with my hands, okay? Making these margaritas. When you're making margaritas for 15 people, I went through probably like between 30 or 40 limes. There was a lot of lime action. Five limes per little mixture that I made and we were doing that all day. So I would just be in my bikini making margaritas in our little open kitchen and then going and bringing them to everyone in the pool, sitting in the pool, drinking our margaritas, having the best day. It was the best day ever. Like. All of us just had the most lovely time. We went out dancing after, it was such a fun day. And then I woke up the next morning. And keep in mind, like I am avid with my sunscreen. I probably packed like seven different sunscreens for this trip and I was sunscreening myself, blah, 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 whatever. And I woke up in the morning and I, I always sunscreen my hands, like always. And I had like a red burn, like burnt. My hands were sunburnt. And I was like, this is so weird. I always have sunscreen on my hands. And then it was like really, really stinging, like more so than a normal burn. And I was like, okay, weird. Like normally when I have a sunburn, I just load myself up with like oil and, and body lotion and uh, it would be fine. So we had a beach day at Papaya Playa that next day, so the Saturday. And so I just like put body lotion on, like trying to soothe it. And then I put sunscreen on, like just like thick wads of sunscreen on my hands. And we just had our beach day, whatever. Little did I know, little did I know that I was just absolutely baking this burn <laughs> in the sun and I woke up the next day and my hands were just like giant and swollen and it was just insane. I was like, what is happening to me? Oh my God, do I have this infection, whatever. Then we realized that I solely was the one squeezing limes and I was like, oh my God, I bet you it's the limes. So then we hit up Google, we're Googling what happens with lime in the sun and here comes this like plethora of information on phytophotodermatitis, otherwise known as Margarita burn. It's a real thing. Google it. It's crazy. I was mind blown. Never even realized. I posted on Instagram and like hundreds if not thousands of you responded with like similar stories of it happening to you. People who are from Mexico and from other hotter climate places were like, yes, this is a thing. We're warned of this from birth. Like you never mix limes and citrus and the sun. And the second that it happened, I was like, oh wow. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, let's not pour burning citrus acid on our bodies and then bake in the sun. So basically my day one in Tulum, 
I baked myself and got margarita burn on both of my hands. So I'm gonna insert some photos of it. It went through many phases over the week. It started out being really, really swollen and both my hands just puffed up huge. It was super, super painful. It was the feeling of like a searing burn. And then throughout the week, it got really gross and blistered and it was swollen and gross and ugh. I went to the hospital there and they gave me this like medicated steroid gauze that I had to wrap my hands in and whatever. And then I, I spent the first two days uh, just crying in my room. <laughs> And then when I made the decision to stay and not like book a flight home early, you know, to try and be a trooper and have the best experience that I could, uh, the the host of our Airbnb was so sweet. Rhonda, if you ever happen to see this, you're a winner. She sewed me mittens. She sewed me mittens so I could still like be out in the sun. Uh, I just basically had to cover it and wait for the burns to go down. So um, anyway, I'm gonna continue this in a second, but I realized I forgot to put my mask on. I wanted to have a mask and chat, chatting about this, okay? Because of all of this excitement, I just, I need to cleanse my soul and my skin. I'm gonna use the Malenstrom, the problem solver. Maybe it'll solve all of my problems, including my hand. Probably not, but one can dream, right? This one's such a, it really is so filthy to, to set this one up. Five hours later. Okay, so I'm just gonna apply this and then we can continue on with our chat. So I basically just wanted to update you guys because for those of you who followed along with the adventure on Instagram, everyone's like, oh my gosh, give us a hand update. What is this? Or a lot of people missed it and they were like, oh my God, what happened to your hand? So I just felt like I couldn't come home and not update you guys on what happened and also warn all of the other people who were clueless like me and just wanted to drink a margarita in the sun, just know you gotta scrub your hands with soap after. So I just wanted to give you guys a full update now that we're home, let you guys know what's rolling. So basically I went through the whole like healing process while in Mexico and my hands went through all the blistering, whatever, came home and now my hands are pretty just, well they're brown. <laughs> They are brown and this will probably scar very badly. I went to the hospital yesterday. Today is Sunday. We got back on Friday night, like at 1 a.m. So I went first thing to the hospital yesterday just to kind of get a second opinion now that I'm at home and just see like what the aftercare should be. So let me show you actually. So basically all the blisters have dried and now my hand is just like cracking apart it's super gross and it's so weird feeling it doesn't hurt anymore really like I, I actually peeled don't peel things don't pop the blisters and don't peel things just let it do its thing but i did peel one little thing away on my thumb and it that's really sore because now it's just like fresh raw skin but for anyone who's had a burn you know the general process now i'm just crispy and i just I basically have to wait for all of this dead skin to fall off and my new fresh baby skin to come through so the doctor said that it might be, you know, a couple more weeks in this state as my skin like peels and becomes fresh. That's why I still have it wrapped because a lot of, again, the, the sections are raw and I just want to keep it covered while I'm trying to do things at home. But I have full mobility back, thank God, when it was swollen, I literally couldn't move my hands. I was just like this. And Dan and all of our friends were just like taking turns, dressing me and doing things while I'm I reached a new low. I reached a new low in Tulum, friends. I, I, I no longer have any shame. Let's, let's put it that way. But they said that I will have most likely discoloration on my hands and I wanted to kind of actually show you guys because I was making it in a bathing suit, I actually got, I'm just gonna show you my belly real quick. I got these burns all over me wherever um, the lime juice splashed. So I'm just covered in these lime burns all over myself, which is very sad. And it also dripped all the way down my leg, so I am just covered in these burns, which is really, really sad. I'm, I'm gonna probably have like significant marks for a while. So anyway, the doctor prescribed me this um, diaper rash ointment. So I'm gonna try using this. This is what she recommended on my burns for the next little while and just soak my soul in moisture and hope that I scar as minimally as possible. And then I also bought a mommy like pregnancy stretch mark cream that I'm gonna put on my stomach and hopefully that will help uh, prevent any scarring. So basically I just wanted to update you guys. That's what happened. Um, Google margarita burn or phyto photodermatitis if you want more information on it. But as far as like updating you guys on what we've done, basically like 
we have pre-filmed videos and you're going to be seeing them as of now for the, for the rest of the week and whatever because I don't really feel comfortable like filming for a while. I kind of want to let this um, go down. It's a little bit shocking when you see it like in its full form. It's kind of gross and when you're sitting there talking about makeup and stuff, it's it's just like, it makes me like, ugh. so I don't really want to, you know, put that front and center <laughs> in like a makeup video, but basically when this just happened, I was like, let's just, we just have the worst luck, Dan and I, something happens on every trip. I feel like our travels are cursed, but I just felt like I needed to let you guys know what happened. And uh, for the next couple weeks, you'll be seeing our pre-filmed videos and then, um, I'm just gonna be soaking this and letting it chill. We just kind of decided to shut off for the week because I was in a lot of pain and Dan was like spending half his time just like helping me use the bathroom and brush my teeth and doing like the simple things that you kind of take for granted with your, you know, normal mobility that really like, even though it was only for a couple of days, it always just like makes you reflect and feel so much gratitude for your body and like what you're able to do and yeah it's always just a little a little bit of a, a shock but i tried to make the most out of it i tried to you know come to a place of comedy <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed the instagram posts i was having a howl at them but just wanted to pop on and say you know we're having, I'm having a struggle bus moment over here. So anyway, I'm ready for Halloween. I feel like I should really exploit and capitalize my wounds and get myself working in a haunted house. It's perfect timing. I, I am already dressed. I'm in my mummy costume. I'm ready to go. I should really just do a, a Halloween makeup tutorial to match my wounds. <laughs> Ooh, this is getting really itchy. Ah! But anyway, we've got, we've got a couple fun vids filmed and pre-filmed for you. you guys will see my hands RIP before they were burnt for the next couple of vids and then after that besides what we've already pre-filmed if you guys have any video requests for the next little while i'm going to be seeing jamie page as of tomorrow when we're in hawaii so if you guys have any videos that you want jamie page and i to film while we're while we're basking in the sun but with mitts <laughs> let me know in the comments down below it's pretty much life now guys this is me now oh my god i need to show you guys what dan did with the mitts if you guys miss the mitts it's pretty funny I was wearing them at the beach and living my best life in them. And then I made a joke to Dan saying that we need to frame the mitts, like that's our Mexico souvenir. And this is where he put them. <laughs> ah! The mitts now have a home on our shelf forever. <laughs> Honestly, it was so cute that she did that. It was so cute. Let's wash this off and put a moisturizing mask on. Wow, masking is so much harder when you have gauze all over your hands. I also forgot to mention that I actually got one little speckle of the lime juice here. So I must have just like wiped my face or wiped my sweat out and I got a little speckle here. I also feel like I should mention that I think I definitely made it worse by, by going in the sun that next day. The severity of the margarita burn is not always the case, but I did have second degree burns here but then as you guys saw it wasn't the case everywhere else it was just like a minor burn so there's definitely different levels of the margarita burn so i'm gonna put on let's do this one the tata harper hydrating floral mask i hate how expensive these ones are and how little product you get in here i've only used this twice so this is my third time using it and it's already like nearing the end of its life it's such a small Amount. Oh, honestly, it feels so good though. Mm. So that's it, guys. That's the that's the little life update. A little chat, a little mask and chat for you. Update you on the, the burns and the hands, the mitts, the muffins, the paws, whatever you want. Muffins? That was weird. That got weird real quick. So that was my uh, trip to Tulum. Enjoy the lineup of pre-filmed videos that we will have for you going forward over the next couple of weeks with my fresh unburned hands. Let's say a little prayer for them and RIP their uh, beautiful fresh baby hands because apparently from now on I'm just gonna have a big brown patch on my hand forever. Okay, I feel like I could ramble on forever. I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you guys on Tuesday for a new vid. Say hello to the fresh hands and uh, sorry for my absence and I hope it answered all your questions about our trip and what happened and all that and don't lime in the sun, fam. That's enough for me. See you on Tuesday for a new vid. Goodbye.